Michael Jackson's family members walked through a media maelstrom and into court for day one of Conrad Murray's trial in Los Angeles. Dr. Murray is charged with the involuntary manslaughter of the King of Pop. He had been Jackson's personal physician before the performer's death in June of 2009. In opening statements, the prosecution played excerpts of a recorded conversation between Murray and Jackson. In it, the singer's speech is heavily slurred. When people leave this show, when people leave my show, I want to say, I've never seen nothing like this in my life. Prosecutors told the jury Conrad Murray's care for Michael Jackson fell far below professional standards because the doctor gave Jackson a dangerous anesthetic named propofol that should be only used in hospitals. It was Dr. Murray's repeated incompetent and unskilled acts that led to Mr. Jackson's death on June 25, 2009. Defense attorneys counter Jackson caused his own death. They portrayed the 50-year-old man as desperate to overcome chronic insomnia caused by other painkillers. That when Dr. Murray left the room, Michael Jackson self-administered a dose of propofol <coughs> that with the lorazepam created a perfect storm in his body that killed him instantly. Former Jackson it. choreographer Kenny Ortega took the witness stand first as the state presented its case. He worked with the music star during rehearsals for his comeback tour. Ortega told jurors Jackson didn't look well days before his death. He was chilled and um, he appeared lost. What do you mean by that? Just sort of lost and, and a little incoherent. The trial is expected to last a month or more. If convicted, Murray faces up to four years in prison and the loss of his medical license. John Mona, Associated Press, Los Angeles.